I don't know if this will work or not, do a bit of, as I explained to Elf Air, kind of high-low discourse about some of the stuff that we talk about in Nature of Man, and then kind of the discussion about the nature of men and man, in quotes, in wider media. Because before I get on to, to too much else, uh, we have had recently a, an explosion, I would say, in the right-wing cultural space, which I've attempted to ignore for most of it, but I found a way to, uh, let's say, meaning jacket it here, to make it look like it's more than it is by attaching it to uh, the Hobbesian, or uh, I should say the state of nature, nature of man, you know, nature, nature, bear in nature, ooh, it's a pun. Uh, <laughs> but but what have before I get too far into it, what have been your thoughts on what I can only describe as the woman discourse? Uh since you made us late, I'll make you go first though, Harry. Uh, have you noticed the woman discourse recently? What the hoes be crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh boy, do they. Um, can we get a yes. hose be crazy in the chat, please? I believe this is the official position of the distant right that uh hoes do indeed be crazy. Be crazy. <laughs> Alternatively, they also be mad, but it depends. I think uh, both. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've yeah, seen a little or white bit usually. Of it, and it, re it, it really just. I always forget on your channel, can I swear, Scrump, or are we trying to keep a certain decor on here? Uh, what, what, is, what is it I used to say on stream, but I can't say any. I, I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not going to say my usual spiel when someone tells me. You can swear, it's fine. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah, it just it just comes across like a typical shit test, man. Yes, it's just women mm -hmm. honest. It's it's them uh, trying to do that thing where they say, "I'm upset about something. You need to figure it out why." And they're trying to make everything about them. Uh, and I, as the man, am stood at the side, going, "Well, you've come to me with a problem. I'm trying to give you the solution to the problem, and you don't want to hear it." It's it's what wi m most women do in any public space that they're afforded. Um, and I don't want to sound so dismissive but yeah it's just they want to make it about them yes they yes, just they want do. to make it about them. they're ignoring they're ignoring the overall point which a lot of people have against democracy in general which is not just that women shouldn't vote it's that most people shouldn't vote because most Based. people don't have the capacity uh, to rationally and objectively identify and uh, sort out problems within their own minds and then apply the reasoning to reality. And women in particular are very bad at this. And women in particular um, are very susceptible to propaganda. So yes. we say, look at all of this bad stuff that's happened because women are particularly easy to propagandize and get to vote for things that are stupid and counterproductive. And then women say, oh my God, how dare you? Why would you say that? I'm really upset with you. You need to figure out how to solve it, but not actually solve it because I just want you to listen to me. And I, 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 honestly, dare, I switch I off. Say I switch you're off not a fan out. of democracy. <laughs> I get the impression Is anybody? you. Uh, I, that's actually a good question because I don't know anyone. You no, know, you're, you're who South likes... African. I saw um I saw an article from uh, uh from what was it uh, the Economist earlier. I was reading it was about South Africa, how they feel <laughs> towards democracy since 1994, oh, since they <laughs> attained democratic <laughs> freedom, <laughs> and it had your classic <laughs> Economist graph in it and uh, since about 2003 it was just like the edge of a cliff it was a slope going down how much do you like democracy bam and all of them were saying just give us an autocrat give us someone who will fix the problems make it so that the shit isn't running through the streets and fix the buildings and make the lights stay on do you know uh, what's really uh, uh, out about let's tell you in so... chat sorry i'll just say uh, no you can't fix them no you can't D -d -d don't do it well i think <laughs> Like, women are like can, a hurricane, not right? With words. <laughs> well, women are like a hurricane. Like if it's over hot water or warm water, it just gets more energy and gets more powerful. And then when it finally lands, you can't really stop it. You just got to let it land, do the damage, and then clean it up. Uh, I, that's why it's sort of like. And I mean, maybe you can nuke them or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's, maybe they. Maybe that won't even work. I don't know. They just come out with their arms folded, with like a face like a lemon. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's, that's sour. That's sa that sour face. That now, well, 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 this is this is great. This is like four. I wanted this like four guys in a bar <laughs> talking about women, and then also talking yeah. about Hobbes and state of nature. It's going to be yeah. hilarious. I'm enjoying myself. What are you, are you gentlemen drinking? Anything? Because uh, you said you got a single yes. malt there, spoon, didn't you? Uh, it's a bourbon. I do I have a single. I don't think I do have a single malt. Right. I have a bourbon finished in in poured wine casks. Ooh, I, I have one of those. But before I get too long into the, uh, yeah. I don't know, has anyone else got alcohol? I, uh, <laughs> can I ask Harry's answer? Uh, it's, it's 11 a.m. here. 
because uh, Harry asked me how I uh, feel about uh, democracy because um, oh, te- oh I can't remember the- nobody knows how you feel about democracy spoon <laughs> no not at all none totally a mystery but um it was quite strange because I had this discussion on Andrew Wilson's um, Discord yesterday in the Crucible, and I cleared the entire room out by just going like, no, this is the reality of the uh, human oh, beings no. in different cultures. You had a spurgy yeah. argument on the internet. Have you considered you wasted no, no, your time? No, 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 no. The people were actually like very receptive. Like the people who actually engaged with the argument were very receptive, but the people who didn't like it just, there was like 10 people when I was in there. By the time it was done, there was three. Because everyone just, as soon as I came, like, no, here is the honest reality of, because basically I invoked, you know, if you've read literature from like the 1930s and 50s of the people who went, if you do X, this is going to be the result Y. One of them was the architect of the apartheid regime for South Africa, who said the Bantu populations will grow. And everyone will suffer. He didn't single out whites. He said blacks, the Indians, the coloreds, and the whites will suffer from this. And autocratic regime is inevitable. Well, it, and it, this it was said like out, the 1960s. Yep. Turned out they were right. I got a quick donation yes. here. Thank you, Mona, for the five dollars. Uh, forced integration did not start uh, with the races. It was subverted with the sexes. May Europe and your home be reclaimed. Thank you, Mona. Yeah. And I will say before spoon gets too long in a tooth about South Africa, Mr. Liquid Swan, women for that. Women. <laughs> women. Uh, women, uh, women obviously be crazy, but I mean, women are chaos, right? Like you can't, if, if the more energy you give women, now you can, become. you can tame a, sh- you can always tame a shrew, but I mean, the more energy you give them, sort of the worst societies, the worst for civilization, right? So we, we've gone down this road in our society where we've given women more and more power and things have been getting more and more crazy. There's like more and more of this debt stuff and, and, and look, and now they're saying they'd rather... Um, spend a night in the woods with a, a man-eating animal. Oh um, yes, we'll get that's, that. that's actually very symbolic. That's very symbolic, though, of like how a woman is, because it's not it's not rational at all, you know. Oh. Um, yeah. Do you, want, you know what's the, the the funniest reply that I've seen during all of this? Is, uh, Scrum, you asked me like yes, I did, yeah, I did, yes. the, the funniest one that I saw was you met four tenor blokes last week. Don't tell me the bear is scary to you. <laughs> I like that's just uh, ace like best comeback which is that uh, like yeah there that's we go. Absolutely I'll get true. the lower third up I can't there's, fault that. There's, there's the point there you know it's starting to make sense tall brown multiple baby mammas unemployed doesn't raise the kids violent hmm it's missing being in jail wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> he just needs money for the bear programs you know what? One of my one of my favorite things that I've seen about the discourse is the is the shift that always goes on, always goes on when you're trying to talk to women about anything remotely rational. Which is at first I saw loads of videos of women and soy boys trying to rationalize the argument by getting out bear statistics of bear attacks. Well, actually, I think oh you'll find God. that <laughs> there was a, there was only ten deaths due to bear attacks last year where there was a, 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 like something like 25 attacks against women every hour last year and then you try and point out you know per capita well your chances of surviving if you run into a bear if you encounter a bear and then they've immediately switched over the course of the week they've switched into going well it was a metaphor you obviously don't understand the metaphor if it was a metaphor why were you trying to argue it rationalistically in the first place <clears throat> you absolute buffoon why does this happen every single time? The second that you actually beat them in the logical arguments, they retreat into, well, you just don't understand. You just don't get it. And then I've seen some retards on my Facebook that uh, that I went on earlier. I very rarely go on Facebook, but uh, whenever I do, I want to die. Um, <laughs> say, uh, saying that I can't believe people are now starting to use the bear discourse against trans <laughs> access to bathrooms. <laughs> my God. Uh, These people, okay. man. These people. It's so. It's... Why do we let them do anything? Okay, the, the honestly, point... the, the population needs to drop. The the point they shouldn't be alive. Only natural means, but the population needs to drop. I thought I would be the most extreme person here. Harry's out doing me right now. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually my shit. I'm very. It's very fucking warm where I am, and I'm sweaty. So I'm not. Oh no, I'm it's not, I... uh, mincing words. It's irate, slightly sweaty, Harry. We he's he has entered the building. <laughs> it's so, winter has ended. 
the sun is That's out. That's right. I am also, honestly, that people can imagine this themselves. I am also in my underwear, so you can imagine me Ooh. sweaty, Ooh. angry. <laughs> give me some entrance music. Oh, yeah. I'm give me, ready give me. for the championship, yes. baby. It's <laughs> like the Rocky theme tune. We, we do it. Uh, we do need it. <laughs> just just uh, give me the stone cold, the, the uh, glass break. The glass, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh dear me! The 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 kind of higher discussion I wanted to to talk about though is that a lot of this seems to reveal to me the duality of kind of the the, the liberal vision of man has somewhat broken down, as it were. I think would you say within liberal theory we are supposed to have an idea that man is usually it's kind of a locking idea that man is good, or at least man is usually good. That that is supposed to be this kind is of actually. Yeah. This is actually quite relevant to me at the moment. I'm trying to write an article about like defining power in the simplest ways possible. And for it, I decided to uh, tr treat myself by going through Locke's second treatise because I'm referring oh. to Have you in it. read Locke? You... <laughs> yeah, I've that. even read Locke. Nearly and died. I, Spoon will tell you, I've been treating <laughs> him. I've been treating him. I was sprinkling some excerpts of Locke <laughs> to him in the DMs over the past few it. days, mainly yeah. with the well, attachment of the message, it. the fuck is this? The <laughs> fuck is this shit? <laughs> yeah. this, I, this idea that ev everybody's just got their own ability to legislate and also have um, yeah. their own judgment over themselves, but also living in that state of nature where you have the legislation and judgment over yourselves is really inconvenient and shit. So we all just decide <laughs> to get in to get into society together. It's nonsense. It's rubbish. And then I just got to a part that I read before I came out of work where he's talking about of prerogative, the kingly prerogative, where he basically turns around and goes, yeah, but also the king kind of just needs to do what he yeah, wants but... when he wants to without the people having a say in it because otherwise the order breaks down. And I just thought to myself, Locke, what the fuck was the past 80 pages about? <laughs> what were you talking yeah, about? But king, and then he but... talks about... <laughs> then he talks about the state of nature, and of course he's responding to Filmer's promo where he's going, Look! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is the state of where nature? Where is the state of nature, where John? When men's are the <laughs> garden, how's he in nature, John? <laughs> it's, a, it's like he's cutting a wrestling it's such a promo, dude. It's All right. yeah. it's, and, me and, 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 and Evelyn came up with this. I've, sp I've spread it far and wide. Sorry, go on. No, no. Locke turns around and goes, ah, well, I see you saying that where is the state of nature in reality? Where can you find examples? I think you'll find the natural leaders of nations are in the state of nature, actually. <laughs> what? But, 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 that's, what? That's Filmer's whole fucking point, you retard. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but that's... that's <laughs> that... you... Sorry, go on, Liquid. Sorry, I, I, I needed to... Uh, if, you took, if you took three random people from around the world, like man and i put them in a room there's there's like three people that would torture you to death in the basement like that's that's like the state of that's like that's like what we're dealing with you know and then we have we, we think we can like survive with these worldwide democracy or whatever you know well the, yeah the, no it, it, does, it doesn't work but the, harry's right by the way i think what the the funniest thing that harry said to me is he just messaged me one of the, the lock bit and the film bit and he just went i think lock was retarded and i just read that away <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm starting to see why you said that. I thought it was hyperbolic. Like, no, you compare it to Filmer. Filmer speaks more intellectually, but bizarrely more plain. Like, you can read Filmer and go, "Yeah, I understand what he's saying." Whereas you read, you read, read Locke, you go, "What kind of cockamaniac idea of man have you constructed in it's your a, head? Where do they exist?" It's a weird thing to no say, way. but what the bear discourse is doing is making a Hobbesian argument for the state of nature that man is actually more evil than nature itself and therefore must be ruled and controlled. It, it seems to be that the idea that the bear is better than the man because he's an animal is an, is is weirdly enough like this nugget of this idea that they think specifically men because it's a weird kind of i guess protected class thing but men especially are more evil than animals and that seems to run counter to the kind of the liberal internal narrative i think it's one of the best demonstrations that the internal logic of quote-unquote liberalism or, or neoliberalism is so adaptable and so in the moment that its idea of the nature of man can switch depending on which argument you're making um which i think is quite interesting but uh, that was oh, the thing that I sent to you earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was my yeah. obs observation on the uh, on 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 the bear discourse.